and we can hear from their leader, Sir Ed Davey. He says he's very proud of the result all over the country. I give notice that Edward Jonathan Davey is duly elected as the Member of Parliament for the Kingston and Surbiton constituency. Tonight, the Liberal Democrats are on for our best result uh, for over a century. And I'm really proud that our party has fought so positively during this campaign. So, this is Ed Davey in South London um, this morning. And uh, Theo Usherwood, we, um, I mean, I, I in particular, I didn't think he was going to get anywhere with the, all the pranks and the paddle boarding and bungee jumping and everything else. But he's sitting on 71 seats. It feels like a, it feels like a sort of artful dodger rip roll because the, uh, Nigel Farage has pinned Rishi Sunak to the wall and then uh, Ed Davis picked his back pocket and taken his phone. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's literally they spent so long focusing on reform yeah. that Ed Davis just come in and, and, and ignored that those potentially remain voting Conservatives, middle of the road, stockbroker, stockbroker belt Conservatives, who are actually would like decency, integrity, and accountability, and they've worried too much about focusing on the reform. Theo, we're going to pause there. He's making a speech. We just want to hear what he has to say. for what you've done, your hard work. You know, you have helped rebuild our party. You've helped, you've helped ensure that the Liberal Democrats are winning again. helped us get our best results for over 100 years. So I, I really want to thank you and I want to thank the millions of voters who want change and who've looked to the Liberal Democrats to deliver that change and who've put your trust in us and our candidates, now your MPs. They will be your local champions. They will fight for the fair deal that you deserve. So thank you for putting your trust in us. And you know, trust is a very precious commodity. It's hard won, and sometimes you've lost it, you lose it, and you have to work very hard to win it back, and I want to thank people for trusting us again. We will not let you down. We will honour your trust, and we will keep working so you put, keep putting your trust in us. I like to think we've done that by listening to you by hearing your concerns. And that is why in this campaign, we fought a really positive campaign about your concerns, about how we wanted to make sure you got help with the cost of living and the difficult economic circumstances. We listened to you on the environment and your concerns about the appalling sewage scandal, and that's why we have policies to tackle that. And above all, we listened to you about your concerns about the crisis in our health system, in our care system. And that's why we put solving that, fixing that right at the heart of our agenda. During this campaign, I've told you about my own story of caring and being a carer for much of my life. And I want to thank all the people who've come to me and responded in so, such generosity, telling me that my story is, is your story and I want to make sure that we represent the millions of carers out there as we re rebuild our health system and do something special to support carers and care workers. And I think if we do that, uh, we can earn your trust. So I promise you, having put it at the heart of our agenda, we are now going to work on health and care. We're going to go to Parliament to represent you. Our first campaign that starts today is a campaign for emergency budget this month for health and care. Every 
one of our record number of Liberal Democrat MPs is going to go to Parliament to campaign for that emergency budget for health and care. They're going to stand up for their local health service, their local care service that you rely on. They're going to stand up for the policies, whether it's getting more GPs, more NHS dentists, free personal care, that will fix the system. Every Liberal Democrat MP will be a voice for carers. And we are going to make sure that your voice is heard like never before. That is the fair deal that we fought on. That is the fair deal that all Liberal Democrat MPs and our whole party want to deliver. So thank you for giving us the opportunity to serve you. And my invitation to you is come and join us and help us turn around our country and transform our health and care system, transform our political system and bring the better, brighter, fairer future our country so desperately needs. Thank you. Diana and Scarlett listening to that. Um, those are the Lib Dems best days since Charles Kennedy um, era. I personally, I, I have my doubts with all these stunts he was doing. I didn't think they, they held a lot of credibility, but everything's worked well. Did, did the stunts work for him? I think, I think what the stunts did was they gave him airtime. Is, is that over and over again, we saw Ed Davey, we saw Ed Davey. But frankly, their strategy was a very clever strategy and, and goes back long before the stunts. And, and, and it, it was to look where they were in second place to the Tories mm. and, and to take on the Tories. And, and actually, I mean, sort of everybody's known this. I, I mean, I read Sarah Vine in the Daily Mail possibly two years ago saying, this is terrible, we're going to have a, a, a left-wing England. But, but w one of the things that they had to have for this mm. strategy to work was to have a Labour leader that people weren't frightened about because they said that under Jeremy Corbyn, they couldn't get people to vote for them because... The Tories wouldn't swap because they said, we really don't want Jeremy Corbyn in. But actually, a lot of soft Tories go, well, Keir Starmer, he'll be OK. Um, so we'll vote Liberal Democrat and we'll get rid of the people in. So that's been their strategy. And then there was the, then there was the air war that we saw mm -hmm. um, where we just kept on hearing about about, you know, this <laughs> centrist dad actually doing very well, he weird said things. in his speech there, um, I didn't even have to paraglide in, and I think it was much to everybody's relief this morning, <laughs> quite frankly. But um, we were saying the best results since 2005, I think. I mean, he's increased it, 10 seats for the Lib Dems, Theo. We're talking yes. about this landslide for the Labour Party, but this is an absolutely fantastic result for the Liberal Democrats. It is Democrats. a fantastic result. I'd also, I'd also point to the fact, and this is something a Labour strategist said to me many, many years ago, is that hope always wins over fear. And I think if you pro project yourself as being uh, somebody who actually has something to offer and wants and has a positive message, that that and you can communicate it properly. So there is a caveat to that. You've got to be able to communicate it. Mm. Then you can trump uh, a, a, a more fearful message uh, of worry and scaremongering. And I think the Tories when they got into that defensive mode quite early on, and then it switched to the worries about a supermajority, just found themselves just. Line after line, yeah. fear mongering, line after line after line, and, and if that's that's okay, and it worked against Ed Miliband, if the other side haven't got a positive message, and I think with the Liberal Democrats, they came up particularly against Ed Davey and this this sort of mad air war with these para. Um, well, I was going to say no, he wasn't. It was, he stopped short of paragliding, bungee jumping, and uh, paddleboarding and the like, and going on roller coaster roller coasters. <laughs> that actually, you, you had somebody who who had at least he he had a sense of. Joy de vivre, if you like. He, he had something to offer. And I think would you have advised that, Charlie? Would you, would you have advised him those sort of stunts? Um, not all of them, some, some, but not all. But I think it's, um, uh, I think it's important because it's such a depressing election. So you know, Rishi Sunak launched the campaign in the boring rain, for goodness sake. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's a Keir Starmer. The reason why the vote share is low and the turnout is low is because I still pe think people aren't sure what Labour are offering. Still, this morning, I think people don't know. And it's not taking that away from a great Labour victory, and it, it has been today. But it's, it, it's almost Boris-esque what Ed Davey was doing. This sort of bumbling, sort of like. But know, not you know, quite as well not, somehow. Because you do find well. yourself chuckling with Boris, but, but with Ed, you were sort of cringing. That's that's my own. You mean yeah, yeah, you did them too well? <laughs> I don't know what it was, but just Boris, he just has got mm. buffoonery down to a fine art, hasn't it, he? Exactly. But it got people. Yeah, there were none of those crotch shots. You're right. Where he was stuck <laughs> on the. <laughs> <laughs>